guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, on this channel we talk about law of attraction, spiritual development, and making you believe that all things are possible one step at a time. So as you can see from the title, we are talking about boobs. Boobs. No boobs. And what I would like to do is go over all the tips that have helped me, not so much in the past, but after my um, breast implant removal, um, what tips have helped me along this journey. So today I have purposely put on um, just a really tight bandeau, just so I can show you guys. I'm gonna start off the video just so people are like, no, she has something. Like, I don't have anything, nothing, nothing. And I, I say that because, especially when I got the boobs out, I kind of got like a little envious of women that were saying that they had flat chest and they actually had like a cute A size boob or like B size boobs. And I'm like, and I literally went back to nothing and my muscles got fucked up. So yeah, a lot to take in. So yes, as I said, um, and if you go back to any of my um, breast implant removal videos, I do talk about it, I do show. Um, after I got my breast implants out, when I had them put in, they had to cut the muscle. And when I got them taken out, supposedly my surgeon put me back together, but they slipped back to the original cut um, when I had them in. So I do have um, a deformity. Um, I don't even know if I want to call it a deformity because it was like self well, I didn't do it myself, but like I got the implants, you know what I mean? So I wasn't born with it. So I have to like reverse my mind into actually being like, well, you kinda, you kinda did this to yourself. So for the first tip that I would like to go over is, actually, this isn't even a tip. This isn't a tip, this is a question. How do you view yourself? because ultimately that's going to give us a good foundation, a good base on what we're working with here. If you just desperately dislike yourself, that's something that maybe you need to start with therapy or getting a coach. Hi, hello, I'm a holistic mindset life coach. If you would like, I will leave my email link below. We can chat, go over that, I'm here for it. Um, if you are down that low, then I do suggest getting, um, help in that field that can maybe possibly guide you into a different direction and a different mindset. Cause when you are down that low, it is hard to kind of get yourself out. Think of like yourself in a slippery, muddy hole and it just keeps raining. You can't, you can't really get yourself out of there, um, unless you think it's possible. And you know, that goes into a lot more anyways link will be below um but yeah so it's gonna give us a good foundation i think it is possible for anyone i want to say this first too you don't need a therapist you don't need to have a coach you don't need these things i think everyone is very very capable of doing these things on their own i believe that everyone is strong enough i have pulled myself out of very very dark places not wanting help and that's just a stubborn part of me i think having a coach or a therapist is pretty healthy. It is nice to get um, that off your chest and to talk to someone. Um, but anyways, uh, yes, so you don't actually need one, but I do think that everyone is strong enough to get themselves out of whatever mess that has was causing or caused or traumatic things that are triggering being brought up. Anyways, I'm getting thrown off topic. So it will give us a good foundation of what we're working with um, and how we can kind of go from there. What steps can we take from there? Is it going to be more of a mental thing? Is it going to be more of a physical thing? I think they all tie in together and at some point they do have to work hand in hand in order to take the next steps, but sometimes we have to take baby steps and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I've taken plenty of baby steps in my life, got to the toddler shoes, got to the adult shoes, and now we're kicking. So keep asking yourself every day, how do you view yourself? If it's in a negative way, I'm gonna say this, and I want this to be a nice little lesson for everyone um, and training tip. Look in the mirror, stand in a mirror. If you can, a long mirror that you can see everything. 
get naked, get fully undressed, be very vulnerable with yourself and look at your body. Look at the what you think would be imperfections, what you think would be flaws and tell those things, tell yourself, I love you. And just keep saying it over and over. I kid you not, this very much works. I don't know if I made this up or if I heard this from someone, I don't know, but it just kind of makes sense. Look at yourself and adore yourself, love each part. It's not easy to do that when you are in such a bad mindset and you think that you need to be a different way, think a different way. But this will allow to open up your heart and be accepting. And accepting is like the big key word here. You need to accept yourself in order to move on from these negative trampled thoughts that we have going on in our head. I guess the first tip, which is a training lesson, look in that mirror and tell yourself you love yourself. Do it every single day, twice a day. I don't care, even if it's one, I, it's whatever. Do it every day and you will start feeling a difference. So after we go on about how we view ourselves, now I wanna ask a question on how do you view flat chest? How do you view what flat chest means? Because we have such a structured mindset on what that actually means is why we actually associate a negative meaning towards it. Because if flat chested were advertised more sexy, then we obviously would be thinking a different way at this point. But unfortunately, that's not the case and that's fine. But that's something that we need to do for ourselves to reverse that thinking into thinking that flat chest, there's nothing wrong with having a flat chest. Absolutely nothing wrong. The industry and the market and everything is what's wrong and how they display women and whatever. And now we feel like we have to be a certain way in order to be sexy and that's just so fucking false. And I'm sick of it because I don't like feeling that way either because trust me, I get my moments. I get those moments. Um, that's like maybe just, maybe like just an inch of fat and it would make me happier. Why, why? Stupid. Because we've associated such a negative meaning to what a flat chest means is why we're having such a hard time having a flat chest. And only we can get ourselves out of that mindset. No one's gonna do it for you. You have to reverse that thinking yourself. And it doesn't matter what anyone says. It doesn't matter if a man comes up to you and says you have a man chest. It doesn't matter if someone makes fun of you. Like only you can control how you feel about that word and those meanings and what people are saying. So another tip would be to stop putting your thoughts into other people's heads because this is where we really start getting down on ourselves because we are automatically assuming what other people are thinking when realistically it's not even something that people are really paying attention to. You know what I mean? Like, yes, viewed in a sexy way, or yes, um, most women in this world um, have boobs. And that's something that I think is just a natural reaction that people just see curves on a woman and just like, oh, okay. Like, you don't really think like, oh, boobs. You know what I mean? So we need to stop putting what we think people are saying putting that in their head and then thinking that that's what they're thinking and that's what you're hearing and whatever because it's not true it's not true and even if it is true we're gonna go back a little step and what I said is like it doesn't matter what anyone thinks or feels it's only it only matters what you think and feel because we can control like if you put yourself in a happy mood like real quick real quick and I you know what I gotta make a video about this, about how to change your mind or your mood like that because oh God, it's such a good feeling. But anyways, only you have the control of how you feel in any situation, any situation, any situation. It doesn't matter 
if it was a car accident. It doesn't matter if someone called you a bad name. It doesn't matter if someone is making fun of you. It doesn't matter, you know, the list will go on and on and on and on. No one, no one can make you feel bad. No one can make you feel upset. Words can hurt. And I don't think that anyone should say the things that they say, trust me, I don't. But we can carry on our happy life in our own happy bubble, and then they can just have their own thoughts and opinions, which are really just a reflection of themselves because they're not living their authentic truth, okay? Those people mean nothing to us. I don't know where they thought that they had a place to ever say anything, but bullies are ugly. It's not easy for me to judge people, but when someone is that ugly with their mind, they are physically ugly, okay? Let's just get that right. So keep your thoughts to yourself, but here's the thing, which is gonna move on to my next tip, is that when those thoughts come in and you think that people are thinking these things, which naturally they really aren't. Um, you need to start having a positive self-talk to yourself. And I say this, I've said this in a couple of my videos, especially when it's coming to the mind and it's being that negative, like, mm -mm, we don't have time. We don't have time for it, okay? We're busy. We're busy doing other things. We don't need to multitask with this negative thinking, okay? So put a positive self-talk in your head. I don't care what it has to be, but it's going to be anything, anything positive. It doesn't even have to be about boobs. It could be about a puppy. It could be about anything else, but you're switching that negative thought around into a positive one. That's what you're gonna do. Because hanging on to those negative thoughts linger those negative emotions and those negative feelings that we're used to and that habit starts coming up and then we start spiraling down and it keeps going down and it causes anxiety and then this obsessive thinking and then just too much emotions that I think emotions are great and I think I am a very, very emotional person. I cry to release and I love it. But there comes a time where we need to shut down the emotions a little because we need to be a little harder on ourselves at certain points because we're getting more upset because we caused it, okay? Let me repeat that. We're getting more upset because we caused it. We caused our mind to think this way and feel this way because we caused it to think that someone else was acting and being and saying certain things when it wasn't true. You didn't hear anything, right? You're not a mind reader? No? You're not? Okay, so let's move on. We don't know what other people are thinking, okay? Ever, ever. And that's something that we need to be okay with. I wanna be very stern about that because I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way. But I will always try to assume what other people are thinking. And it's not okay. Mm -mm. We're gonna move on to the next tip, which is to follow people with a flat chest. There are other people out there, okay? You're not the only one. And that's the biggest thing of following people that have a flat chest or searching people um, in outfits that have flat chest because you aren't going to feel alone. And that's probably one of the best feelings in the world when you feel so small <laughs> no pun, uh, that we're the only ones out there that are dealing with this problem. And following people that see, like, well, I wouldn't say seem confident, usually are pretty confident. We don't see past social media and, you know, the fake life and everything, but it's nice to see that someone else is embracing their flat chest and that it makes it seem like you can do the same thing which you can. So it will allow you to have a little bit more confidence in yourself and the way that you look and how you can view yourself in certain outfits. Now, if you are in a relationship and you are dealing with 
getting jealous because certain girls look a certain way and you may think that your boyfriend wants that and blah 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 if you guys are in a good communicated relationship you are you should be able to express to him how you feel and he should be caring enough to tell you how beautiful you are and how you shouldn't be that way listen Sometimes some people have to learn the hard way, but there's a lot of beautiful women out there. And until you start accepting that, it's gonna be harder to accept yourself. Because until you start being aware that there are beautiful women out there that may have a lot of different features that you would prefer to have, but don't, um, it's gonna be a lot harder on you and your life and trying to be okay with the way you look, especially when you are in a relationship. Because when you're not in a relationship, you're not comparing yourself so much because you're not worried about what someone else is thinking. And that's what causes us to be jealous is because we're, here we go, back to the whole assuming what other people are thinking. We're putting that in our head of what our significant other is thinking. And we need to stop doing that because I'm just gonna say this, men are always going to be men. I'm sorry if there's a man watching this right now, but men will always have their needs and their needs just, if a man's gonna look, they're gonna look, okay? It doesn't mean that they want that person. It doesn't mean that they like that feature more than, than what you have to offer. It all comes from the heart. I think physical attraction is one of the biggest things that attracts, you know, for you guys to be in a relationship, but realize that he chose you, okay? He chose you. There's something special about you that he wants. So the fact that we think that he wants something else, and there are shitty men that are like that, okay? I'm not putting past that. But if you understand your relationship and you know what kind of relationship you're in, know that he chose you and that he loves you, okay? We need to change the inner in order to change the outer, see? Because the only thing that's stopping us from succeeding and moving forward is us. No one else. No one's taking it away from us. Only we can pull ourselves out of everything even with the help and guidance from anyone, you have the strength to pull yourself out or you have the strength to pull yourself in. I, the one saying is, if you think that you can do it, then you, you're you right. If you think that you can't do it, then you're right. No matter what, you're right, okay? You need to start believing in yourself and you need to understand how beautiful you are. We are all so unique and different. Accept that, embrace that. I know this world is disgusting, but you gotta get off those social media accounts that are making you feel like shit because most of everyone in this world have filler and injections and implants and waist training, you know, whatever it is. I don't think that there's ever going to be someone better looking than you. I just think that we're there's a lot of good looking people out there. And that was wise words from my boyfriend. Because I said, there's always going to be someone prettier and always going to be someone better. And I was like trying to say that in like a nice way, but... Now that I hear it from his way, it just makes sense that I'm actually really <laughs> downing myself when no one's ever going to be better than me. I can only be better than myself and who I was yesterday and who I was 20 minutes ago. You know what I mean? You can't be better than someone else because that's not you. And looks wise, we all are genetically different. So it's just... It's just something we need to accept. That's all, okay? So that was it for this video. I knew it was gonna be long, but I was hoping that it was going to be long because 
It's not easy to change your mindset into thinking that flat chest is a good thing when we've been told that it's not that good. But I have my days where, yes, I want my implants back in. Yes, I want two inches of fat more on my chest. But having that outer materialistic thing or view it's not going to change what's inside. It's not gonna make me happy. Like I said, I had implants at one point and I was still not confident in myself. I still was very self-conscious and yeah, so it doesn't matter, okay? It all just in here, in here. Connect with yourself. <sighs> Take that moment for yourself and just do some self-care, really, you know, really get yourself into the romantic mood with yourself. We don't need to keep doing that for other people. We can do it for ourselves. I know that there was more that I wanted to say on this topic, but those thoughts were running through my head about at least eight hours ago. So those are long gone, but this is what I have for the time being. So I hope it helps someone. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there is something that you would like to see from me, uh leave it in the comments below if you feel like someone needs to hear this video please share it um if you want to give back to me with any of the information that i provide for you you can go ahead and subscribe it's only going to help me and my channel and as i said in the beginning of this video i am a holistic life and mindset coach so if there is something that you want to talk about we can go over plans and prices um, in my email, so I'll leave that link below. I hope you have a good day uh, or night or whatever time you are watching this. And until my next video, I hope you stay true and 